People ask me, what does Jesus look like? Jesus was very tall. He was well over six foot tall. Solid built. Slim, but solid built. But muscular, solid man. He had hair coming down to the back of his neck. Not short hair like me. He still had hair, glory to Jesus. But he had hair. He had a beard. But it was well groomed, a full beard. But it wasn't long like Moses as we think. It was well groomed beard. With a brown she color facial hair. And his hair was like a, a dark brown as she blondy tinge in his hair color. And there when you looked at him, his face. One minute he looked like he had a bluish tin and tinge in his eyes. And the next minute you looked from a different light. And his eyes were like dark brown, like a, a Jewish dark brown color. And his skin coloring was not European like us, but rather his skin color was quite dark. But Jesus said, come, I want to introduce you to some men that you have looked up to for many years and they have inspired you greatly. And all of a sudden, there came a tall man. He came walking up to me and immediately, it was like I knew who he was. It was Elijah, the prophet Elijah. And I remember he said, come, let's walk and talk. And I was so excited. I remember saying, Elijah, man, you are the greatest prophet that ever had been. I said, man, you, you've inspired me all my life and what you did and, you know, calling down fire from heaven, destroying and killing off all those false, false prophets of Baal and Asher. I said, the great miracles you did and a great man of faith. I said, tell me how I can be like you, Elijah. And he very quietly said to me, he said, yes, I did great things for the Lord God Almighty. But he said, do not make the mistakes that I made, young man. He said, you only see through the eyes of what the Bible speaks about, but you do not see who I really was. He said, I had incredible highs and incredible lows. He said, I was a double-minded man before God and before man. He said, and I, I did well, my ministry was not stable. My ministry was like a roller coaster. He said, one minute, I'm, I'm calling, down, calling down fire from heaven. The next minute, I'm destroying 850 false prophets of Baal and Asher. He says, I'm restoring the 12 tribes of Israel back to serving the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. He said, not a bad day's ministry work. Is then I get a message from Queen Jezebel. And a little note says, before the day's out, I'm going to come and kill you, Elijah. He says, and I'm running for my life. I'm out of there. He said, where's my faith? I've just seen God do miracles. He said, but a woman named Jezebel sends me a message and I'm terrified and I'm running for my life. He said, where's faith in that? He said, learn from me, young man. Don't make the mistakes that I did. And I remember talking to him, and there's so much I can tell you. But one key thing he said to me, he, I never gave any time for anybody else in ministry. He said, the young prophet Elisha, yes, God told me to put my cloak around him and to leave his fields, to leave his plow and his business and come follow me. And he did that. But he said, I never gave him the time to demold him, to develop him. But rather he persevered and endured and followed me faithfully. He said, but don't do what I did to the young prophet. He said, give men time, invest your knowledge, invest what you know in God into other men and be a father in the faith. He said, I was not a spiritual father. I was only a prophet that had his own mandate to outwork God. And I considered no other one could help me do it. A product of ministry and our time. A product of ministry and our time. It was quite dark. 